In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a rectangular neck. Okay, everybody, to start with, we're going to show you how to load up the net making needle. And what you do is you, you set your yarn there, or your twine, or whatever, and you hold it, and you bring it up around the needle in the middle. You take it, you wrap it around. You've got to hold this piece here at first. Wrap it around, take it back around the needle, like so. And you just keep this up. Till you've got your needle filled up. Okay, for this demonstration we are going to make a rectangular net. For that you will need your dowel or a pencil, your clip, your mesh board, which is twice the width of your needle, and a good pair of scissors, and your wire tie. To start, you take your mesh board, and you wrap your thread around twice. And tie a square knot. which now gives you the first link in your chain. I take that and I wrap it around my bungee, which I use for tensioning. And I'll take my mesh board and measure it up so that the knot is about the halfway point. That's when I take my clip so that this doesn't slip and I'll pinch off the two threads so that they're held tight. Now, what we do is you take your mesh board, put your string over the top, run it up through the loop, and snug it up till the loop just hits the edge of the mesh board. Now this loop has two strands in it. You go and run your cord over the back of your hand and pick up those two strands like that. In this demonstration we will be using the purse knot. So you got these two here. Now you take your needle and you run it up between the middle of those two strands and pull it tight. I like the purse knot personally because unlike the sheep's bend a lot less chance that you're gonna get slippage. And you keep doing this for your chain until you get the desired depth that you want.
I'm only going to go a couple more here. Once you get your desired depth, you drop your this loop down and start catching all your top loops. Even out your knots, then you take your wire tie and run it through all your top loops. Tie it off. Then I come back over here. and hook it on my tensioner. So now it's basically the same thing we did before. Let's get this twisted around here so it'll... You have your first loop of your net right there. Take and you run right through that loop like you did before when you were making the chain. Snug it up. And tie it with the same knot you did before. Catch your second loop. Pull it up. Go for your next loop. And you continue right on down the line So you get to your last loop. Because I work from left to right, what I will do now is I will turn this 180 degrees till that's on my left. 
pull my mesh board out and come through and just follow the chain again. The longer the net gets, the easier it is to distinguish your loops. When it's real close and up tight, you can accidentally grab the wrong loop, and if you do that, you got a mess on your hands. Now the fishing people will like this, but ladies, you should like it too because you know, nets can be used for interior decor and everything else like that. You just keep following this process all the way around till you get your net to the desired length, whether it be 1 foot, 5 foot, 10 foot, 25 foot. But let me show you what we got here now. There you go. One simple net. Not that complicated to make. All the meshes are the same size. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have more to come. Thank you.